Hello everyone, this is Dr. S. Srinivasan, Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, RMD Engineering College. In this session, I am going to talk about requirements based testing. Requirement based testing deals with validating whether the requirements are consistent, unambiguous, complete, and logically connected. As we know, the software development starts with the requirements. If the requirements are not consistent or incomplete, it is very difficult to build a software product based on that information. There are few reasons to perform requirements based testing. It check whether the requirements are complete or not. The incomplete requirements will not helpful for the development of software product and changing the requirement and the specifications may lead to defective software products and the lack of customers input will lead to some inferior software products so to avoid all this we go for requirements based analysis and testing there are two important goals to perform requirements based testing the first one the validating the requirements are correct, complete, unambiguous, and logically consistent, as we have seen earlier. The second goal is to define the smallest set of test cases that are necessary to ensure that the design as well as code of the product can meet the customer's requirements completely. So, with these goals, we go for requirements based testing. Look at the characteristics of test cases in requirements based testing. Here the test cases are designed based on the test objectives as well as test conditions and that are de developed from the requirements unlike other testing methods. For example, the test cases are designed in the requirements based testing are used to check both functional as well as non-functional aspects of the software. Look at the important steps in performing requirements based testing. The first one is identify the system requirements. It is very important to understand the exact requirements of the software to be developed. So, we have to identify both functional as well as non-functional requirements of the software. The second one is develop test cases. After understanding the requirements of the software, test cases should be generated based on the requirements. The test cases should cover both positive as well as negative scenarios. We can use any strategies like boundary value analysis to generate the test cases but the test cases should be complete in, in a manner that it can check the software thoroughly in all aspects the third one is execute test once the appropriate test cases are identified it is important to execute all the test cases the tester starts executing the test cases one by one and they record the results they will know whether the test is performed successfully or not then analysis the results once all the tests have been completed we have to identify whether there is any discrepancies in the software we check whether the software fails to meet any requirements from the user the next stage is rework or retest if any problem as identified in the fourth stage, we have to revise the software and perform the test again based on the appropriate test cases. So these are the five important steps in requirements based testing. The requirements based testing reduces rework errors as well as defects in the software. It helps companies to develop applications that meet customer expectations as well as requirements easily it ensures the high product quality by ensuring the 
correctness of both functional as well as non-functional aspects of the software in the early stage. As a result, it reduces the cost associated with development, maintenance and reworks of the software in the future. Thanks for watching this video.